Okay, I will now be taking you through the steps of creating a 3D dice model. And I will be using Blender version 2.56. Of course, when you start Blender, you'll start with the basic 3D cube model object. First step, we'll leave object mode, hit tab. That will put us in the edit mode. And we will subdivide in order to change the features of the faces of the cube in order to plot our particular dice depending on the number and we will make four cuts to the subdivide deselect with the AT and now we will select the particular faces and to do that, we will have to go into face select mode down here on the bottom toolbar. Select the particular keys with the mouse click and shift to uh, select multiple faces at the same time. Now at a certain time we don't want actual faces touching so we'll have to go back and make those modifications after we do the extruding and scaling. And now that our faces are selected, uh, our next step will be to we're gonna have to make uh, modifications to our additions to uh, determine different faces. And uh, what we're gonna have to do is we're gonna have to separate the meshing from the selected points. Uh, the first step we're going to do is we're going to extrude with the E key, the left key, or mouse uh, click to uh, set the extrude. And to separate the meshing, we're going to move it from the active element which is currently set on for the cube into the squares or the individual origins that we have selected. Now we will scale with the S key and you can either just move the mouse or in our case we will scale with the particular object in the keypad. And the left key to select or to make the application. Okay, now that we have done that, we're going to go back and we're going to select the um, particular faces that we did not have set at first. The last one. And 
and six. And like all the rest of the points, we're going to first want to extrude the E key split. Set the individual regions. And last step, scale it to the same as the rest of the point. See, actually, we did was to go double, so let's go back. I don't want to select just individual pieces instead of all of them at the same time. Okay, now we should have all the faces selected with the uh, markings for the size of the dice. And what we're going to have to do now is extrude the sides or push in the indentions for the dice. Select the faces, E for the extrude, push it back, and we will do this for each side. One more face. So now that we have the physical features, we're going to want to um, change the shading and the coloring of the dice to uh, make it out or actually make it look realistic. Um, going to need to select all the faces or the indentions for the coloring of the um, markings of the numbers. Remember to select the shift key while marking multiple faces at the same time. And you will notice that it's only selecting the, the actual bottom of the face, thus leaving out the, um, the uh, actual sides that uh, we push back with the, in the uh, extrusion. What we will do to select that uh, in the selecting selection sec, uh, drop down menu, you will go up and select more and that will as you can see, make the uh, application, selecting the whole indention. And uh, what we're going to want to do next is add the materials. And you will find that in this um, submenu right here. It's all the way at this, to the right. And we're going to want two different uh, shadings. So what we're going to have to do is set two, ma two materials for the dice. Um, first starting off with the indention. You can see it automatically uh, uploaded the first one, and uh, what we want to do is um, assign that to the selections, 
and uh, we'll just call it. We'll call that one. Well, first we're gonna add one more, one more material. That is, but what we're gonna do is we're gonna select the inversion, the inverse selection, to uh, for the rest of the box. Add a new material. That's the second one. And as you can see, we have two materials. What we want to do is want to split them because right now they're assigned to the cube as as a whole. So what you're gonna do is select that second number, number two, right next to the material. And uh, basically from there, you go down to the under diffusion to set that particular color that you would like. Apply and you know, at the end to assign to apply it, you will have to click the assign button. And I'm gonna set a go go ahead and set a red a red body for the complete dice. Make it a distinct color. Fire red. And for the indentions, go back and remember you have to uh, select the inverse. Because that's what you're dealing with right here. Have a particular material. At the same time, it's already set. Um, and we're going to set this as uh, by the white material. We're actually to make it more interesting, make it a black. Red and black dice. And um I'm gonna add a little bit around this feature. What we're gonna do now is we're gonna um select the cube. To round it out to make it like an actual dice, a realistic size, just the colors. I'm going to um, add a modifier, subdivision surface modifier, to round it out. As you can see, that's what the selection for the box with all the faces and. Um, at it from a different camera angle. As you can see, this is our dice. And the selection. Go ahead and render it out. See, take a picture and see what it looks like. And that is our 3D dice.